I am Gopagumar. Welcome to your math tutor. Here we focus on helping you to solve the problems in engineering mathematics in the easiest possible way from an exam point of view. If you are interested in theory, then check out NP10. So, we have learned how to solve the ordinary differential equations in the previous problems. Now, we are going to learn how to solve the differential equation of Cauchy Euler form. Here, we have the question x cube d cube plus 3x square d square plus x d plus 1 into y is equal to x plus log x. Now, the question is how do we identify if the given equation is of Cauchy Euler form? In Cauchy Euler form, dy by dx term will have x as coefficient and d square y by dx square term will have x square as coefficient and d cube y by dx cube term will have x cube as coefficient and so on. This is how we identify a given question is of Cauchy Euler form. Here in this question, d cube has x cube as coefficient. Similarly, d square has 3x square as coefficient and d has x as the coefficient. Therefore, the given equation is of Cauchy Euler form. After identifying the equation is of Cauchy Euler form, just put x is equal to e raised to z, z is equal to log x, replace x d by dx with d dash x square d square by dx square with d dash into d dash minus 1. Replace x cube d cube by dx cube with d dash into d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 2 in the given question. Here in this question, we replace x cube d cube with d dash into d dash minus 1 into d dash minus 2 plus 3x square d square is replaced with 3 into d dash into d dash minus 1 plus x d is replaced with d dash plus 1 into y is equal to Instead of x, we write e raised to e z instead of log x, we write e z d dash into after multiplying d dash minus one into d dash minus two, we get d dash square minus 2d dash minus d dash plus 2 plus 3d dash is multiplied with d dash minus 1 then we get 3d dash square minus 3d dash plus d dash plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to e z plus e z that is equal to d dash 
into d dash square minus 2d dash minus d dash becomes minus 3d dash plus 2 plus 3d dash square minus 3d dash plus d dash becomes minus 2d dash plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to e z plus e z. After multiplying d dash into d dash square minus 3d dash plus 2, we get d dash cube minus 3d dash square plus 2d dash plus 3d dash square minus 2d dash plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to e z plus e z. Now minus 3d dash square plus 3d dash square becomes 0 then d dash cube and 2d dash minus 2d dash becomes 0 plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to e z plus e z. Now we have to find the solution of y. y will always be the sum of complementary function plus particular integral. Now let us find the complementary function. For that we have to find the auxiliary equation of d dash cube plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to e z plus e z. For finding the auxiliary equation, we only need to substitute a variable instead of d dash. Here we are using m. Then we get the auxiliary equation as m cube plus 1 is equal to 0. We know that a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square. Therefore, m cube plus 1 can be written in the form m plus 1 into m square minus m plus 1 is equal to 0. That is equal to m plus 1 is equal to 0, m square minus m plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, we get the roots as m is equal to minus 1, m is equal to 1 plus or minus i root 3 by 2. That is equal to 1 by 2 plus or minus i root 3 by 2. We know that the general form of a complex number is alpha plus i beta. Alpha is the real part and beta is the imaginary part. Therefore, alpha is equal to 1 by 2 and beta is equal to 3 by 2. Now, we have to find the complementary function. Complementary function for the real and distinct roots is c1 e raised to m1 z plus c2 e raised to m2 z. Complementary function for the complex root is e raised to alpha z into 
c1 cos beta z plus c2 sin beta z. Therefore, the complementary function for the real root m is equal to minus 1 is c1 e raised to minus z plus here alpha is equal to 1 by 2 and beta is equal to root 3 by 2. Therefore, the complementary function for the complex roots is e raised to 1 by 2 z into c2 cos root 3 by 2 z plus c3 sin root 3 by 2 z. We know that x is equal to e raised to z and z is equal to log x. Now we are going to convert the complementary function from z to x terms. Then e raised to minus z can be written in the form e raised to z whole inverse. We know that e raised to z is x then e raised to minus z becomes x raised to minus 1 plus e raised to 1 by 2 z can be written in the form e raised to z whole raised to 1 by 2. We know that e raised to z is x then e raised to z whole raised to 1 by 2 becomes x raised to 1 by 2 into c2 cos root 3 by 2 into log x plus c3 sin root 3 by 2 log x. Now we have to find the particular integral of d dash q plus 1 into y is equal to e raised to z plus z. Particular integral is equal to 1 by d dash q plus 1 e raised to e z plus 1 by d dash q plus 1 into e z which is equal to particular integral 1 plus particular integral 2. Now the particular integral 1 is equal to 1 by d dash q plus 1 e raised to e z. Here the coefficient of e z in the exponential function e raised to e z is 1 and replace d dash q on the denominator with coefficient of e z in the exponential function e raised to e z. Then we get 1 by 1 plus 1 into e raised to e z which is equal to 1 by 2 e raised to e z. We know that x is equal to e raised to e z. Therefore 1 by 2 e raised to e z can be written in the form 1 by 2 into x. Now we need to find the particular integral 2 which is equal to 1 by d dash q plus 1 e z. Since e z is a polynomial we can write 1 by d q plus 1 as 1 plus d q whole inverse e z. We know that the binomial exp 
expansion of 1 plus x whole inverse is equal to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on. Which is equal to 1 minus instead of x we write d dash cube instead of plus x square we write d dash cube the whole square and so on into a set. A set is multiplied each term inside the bracket we get z minus d dash cube z plus d dash cube the whole square z and so on which is equal to into z minus now we have to find the third derivative of z the first derivative of z is 1 and the second derivative of z is 0. Therefore, the particular integral 2 is equal to z. We know that z is equal to log x. Therefore, the particular integral 2 becomes log x. Now the complete solution of y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral 1 plus particular integral 2. Therefore y is equal to here the complementary function is c1 into 1 by x plus x raised to 1 by 2 into c2 cos root 3 by 2 log x plus c3 sin root 3 by 2 log x plus particular integral 1 is 1 by 2x plus particular integral 2 is log x.